Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of March, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that you're going to be watching this. Many of you will be watching this in February. It could resonate in February, but it's really for March. So I would advise you to watch it in March again, um, as it is for March. Um, this is a preview of what's to come. Let's see what comes up for March. Wow, they just seem to be a dropping out. So I guess these are the cards that we need. Dogs, getting together with friends. So you're going to be getting together with friends. You're going to be connecting with friends this month. January. January, it looks like it's pretty cold, pretty icy. So uh, something to do with the month of January. You may have been feeling uh, frozen, maybe. I don't know. Uh, scales, keeping your life in balance. So your life is going to be balanced. I do feel like something has happened in January. Your life is going to be balanced out and you are going to be getting together with friends this month. Um, justice. This is your card. Justice is going to be served in some manner. So you could be dealing with a law. You could be dealing with some sort of courts this month. Whatever is happening, I feel like there's going to be a thaw. I do feel like there is going to be a thaw. I do. I feel like, you, you know, as you get together with people, things start to warm up. So I think that there's going to be some sort of warm up. You could also be dealing with somebody that is born in the month of January. This person seems to be very cold. Uh, so that could be uh, part of it. What do we have? Let's do this one first. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? The scales of justice are going to bring you something that you deserve, and the biggest thing it's going to bring you is, is balance. Your balance is going to be restored in some way. So what do we have for Libra? Awareness. Now, this is the Magician card. So you have some sort of divine connection right now. Um, this is a, a connection to Source. This is a card of manifestation. You may be manifesting something. This is calling in something. They're, they hear you, getting something that you asked for. So there is something that you are getting that you that you asked for. This is action being taken. So there is some action here that is being taken, being willing to shed the old, bring in the new that leads to success. So we definitely have somebody that is doing something that is going to bring you success, whether it's you, could be self, because one is a card of self. This is also about thoughts, your thoughts become things. So you are definitely manifesting something. Um, you're giving it, you, it feels like you have all the resources you need to be successful or somebody's going to be giving you those resources. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, there is some sort of divine connection here though. There is. So, um, really, really pay attention to your thoughts because whatever you're thinking, they are absolutely manifesting. You, you have some sort of power this month. Okay. They hear, they're hearing every single thing that you want. Okay, and, and, and that you don't want. So really be careful with your thoughts because if you think about the, the secret, you know, or the law of attraction, you, you don't ask for what you don't want. You only, you concentrate on what you do want because they, they don't, they don't uh, distinguish between those words. If you say, I don't want this, they just hear the this. You know what I mean? You ha be careful with your thoughts because they hear everything, everything. Okay, so you're manifesting something right now. You're going to be getting something. You are. You're going to be getting something. Creating something. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So I, some of you are going to be really focusing on a partnership. You may be, for some of you, you could be single going into a partnership because that's a, that's a self, okay? Um, or you may have been focusing on yourself more than a partnership. This is a time to focus on a partnership. Um, you have all the power, all the resources you need to be successful. 
And this partnership could be with anybody. It could be with a friend. It could be with a lover. It could be a family member. You know, you whatever is happening, um, the answer is yes. So if you want something, the answer is yes. You can have it. Um, There is somebody that is going to do whatever it takes to bring success. I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. You're going to have to give it a chance, though. You may have to put in some sort of effort as well. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or that could be your energy. This is somebody who is very confident, very strong, very determined. We have somebody here that has a lot of skills as well. We have a very skilled individual who doesn't have any fear you may there could be some sort of protection here somebody may want to protect you um, this is a per, per person that is in a position of leadership that is taking action there's action being taken this month there's no doubt about it nine of swords reversed so nine of swords reversed is extremely stressed out extremely worried um, somebody has been having a very hard time at night, having a hard time sleeping, overwhelmed, depressed, a lot of anxiety, worried about what's going to happen. I feel like there's some sort of protection here, so I, I think that you, maybe you're worrying for nothing. Um, justice reversed. So there's been an un, unfair treatment. There's there's un, there's been unfair treatment. Somebody's been lying. Uh, Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. There's a lack of integrity. We got an individual here that um, doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. This person is having some regrets, so they're going to be having some regrets. Somebody could end up having some serious regrets. Maybe they're regretting not treating you fairly. But... And maybe whoever this person, somebody is getting some karma and they're haunted by something. Anyhow, the, the scales are going to be coming, something, you're dealing with somebody that um, is probably very controlling, maybe even manipulative. This person is causing you a lot of stress. I don't know, maybe it's a father figure. It doesn't have to be, could be a boss, could be a husband. This is a masculine energy. So we have a very masculine energy that may be trying to manipulate or control. And I think it's causing you a lot of stress. I think that you are being stressed out by somebody. There's some sort of injustice here, unfair treatment. Somebody's not treating you fairly. They're not, they're not giving you the chance. It's interesting because it's like you're trying to give them a chance, but I don't feel like they're giving your, you a chance. I feel like they think that they're the boss, which is interesting. Justice reverse, lack of integrity. Somebody doesn't have integrity at all. Seven of Pentacles. Now, Seven of Pentacles is investment. It's time to go someplace else where there, where there's more fertile ground. This season is over. Somebody has been trying to make something happen where there's no growth. They're trying to force something to grow that isn't going to grow. It's definitely time to go someplace else. Um, eight of pentacles now putting in effort working hard somebody is going to be working really or somebody is working really 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 hard I feel like somebody is working hard and they're trying to it's almost like because this this is says keep your life in balance somebody's trying to make you unbalanced you know, it's like there. somebody is working really, really hard to throw you off balance. They are. But it's a dead end. It is a dead end. They're causing you anxiety. They're causing you stress. It's because they're unbalanced. You're dealing with somebody that is mentally unbalanced, okay? Mentally unbalanced. It's not you. And, you know, misery loves company. Misery does love company. So anyway, you are definitely dealing with somebody that is really putting in a lot of effort to 
make something happen where it's not going to happen. And it's not. Uh, it, there may be a delay in you getting the balance that you want, but they they don't have any long term success here. Okay, there may be some short lived success, but it won't be long term. So you you're dealing with somebody that is guilty because this is this is guilty and this is guilty. We got somebody here that is guilty. They're guilty of something. What are they guilty of? Being foolish? Somebody is foolish and stupid. No offense or anything. Uh, fool. Somebody is guilty of doing something without thinking. They, this is somebody that is inexperienced. That is doing something foolish. <clears throat> I wonder if somebody could end up in a hospital, because whenever I see this, I, I think of a hospital, you know, that right there. So I don't know if somebody could end up in a hospital. We have somebody who may fall flat on their face. They could end up in the hospital. Um, anyhow, I think that you're trying hard to bring balance back to your life. You're trying to be balanced, but you got somebody here that is reckless. I feel like you have somebody that is reckless, that is guilty, that is miserable, and this person... Maybe they just don't want you to have it all. You know, maybe they just don't want you to have balance. It's just very interesting. I feel like you're working really, really hard on yourself. You're working hard on um, manifesting and becoming a leader of some sort. I feel like you have leadership potential. You have a lot of skills, but you definitely have somebody around you that is causing you an imbalance and I feel like you need to break free from this person because the fool card is freedom you need you need to move away you need to drop it you need to leave this person in behind you that is causing you all this stress you can't take it with you on your new journey this is relocation and this is too so I'm not sure if you're relocating but you know wherever you're at it feels like there's a dead end and there's a, there's a chance for a new life because a fool is a new beginning it's where you leave something behind you you leave the baggage it's like you take the experience and you start over from scratch and, and this is like starting over from scratch as well so i think for some of you it's time for you to start over from scratch it's going to be a lot of work it's not going to be easy but i feel like you have all the skills to be successful you have not been treated fairly. This may have to do with a boss. It may have to do with a husband. It even could have to do with a wife that acts very masculine. Okay? We have somebody here that is very forceful. This person is forceful. And it feels like they they are mentally imbalanced. Um, and I feel like you've you've invested a lot of time and energy into this. But I feel like it's it's time for you to leave it behind. I mean, the fool is goes their own way it's like I, I can't hold I can't take it with me I gotta go I gotta go there's no growth here and I also feel like perhaps this has been going on for a long time it may have something to do with seven I don't know if the age of seven or seven years or or something like that um something about seven um maybe even eight seven or eight because we have seven and eight and I feel like pentacles are years for me <clears throat> There's been some sort of unfair treatment, it may have been seven or eight years, or or that could be an age or something like that. Anyhow, I do feel like uh, starting with a clean slate is prominent here, stepping into new territory, uh, relocating. So I'm not sure if somebody's relocating, but it certainly could be the case with this seven of pentacles. That's this is there's nothing there's no reason to stay here. The the ground isn't fertile. You're not gonna get any more than you've already got, okay? There's no growth. There's no growth. So it's time to leave. And, and it feels like feeling guilty, feeling guilty for choosing what is right for you. You may feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty. You have to keep your life in balance. You know, don't, don't, I feel like you've been losing sleep over making a decision and there's been indecisiveness with the justice card reversed. You know, maybe you feel guilty. Don't, don't, and maybe this person has made you feel guilty. You know, because I do see manipulation here. If you think about the magician, that's that's a master manipulator. It is. I mean, so we do have some sort of manipulation here. If you may have been manipulated by a by somebody, it could be a, like I don't. Know, I I want to say father, but it, it could doesn't have to be. It could be a boss or mother. Um, anyhow, I think that you need to stop feeling guilty and you need to go down your own path. You need to leave it behind you. You know, you just need to, maybe you need to relocate. Maybe you need to pack it up and go, you know, maybe this may have something to do with a job. It may have to do with your work. 
treated unfairly at work for some of you. Maybe even at school, if you're going to school, this is treated unfairly. But this is a new beginning. That Fool card is a new beginning. It is starting with a clean slate. This is exciting. This is like stepping into unknown territory, not knowing where you're going, but having the faith that you will be successful. So I do feel like there's, there's you know, a need to have faith and, and have no fear and find your resources to go in the direction that you want to go in. And do not let anybody make you feel guilty for doing so. I think that you've been working hard trying to give something a chance, whether it's with a family member, a parent, or a lover, or something. But I feel like the time is up. I feel like the time is up. I think it's time for you to get together with friends and unthaw. I feel like you've been in a cold situation where, you know... There wasn't a lot of warmth, obviously. There wasn't a lot of, uh, of balance or justice or integrity or getting what you deserved and whatever. It's over. I feel like it's absolutely over. And I feel like you have an opportunity for something new here with that full car. You absolutely do. This is a new beginning to start with a clean slate. Um, this is like planting seeds someplace else. So perhaps you will be, uh, this could be a spur of the moment decision as well. This could be all of a sudden, you may suddenly make a decision after being indecisive and unsure, you know, to go someplace else. I look so things. Or somebody else might be making that decision. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, the moon. And it fell down on the floor and it is upright. So, I'm just going to put it right here. So, this is an unclear and difficult path ahead. So, yeah, there's hidden forces here. There is hidden forces here, and there's fears. There's fears, and there's confusion. And there's, there's an unclear and difficult path ahead that has been making you feel worried. Worried about the future. I mean, there's your worries. The Nine of Swords, extremely worried. Worried about not knowing, right? I have to tell you that you have a lot of skills. You are extremely skilled at whatever you do. You, you, can, you can create your own business. You can be an entrepreneur. You can be your own boss. You, you can. You can. All you have to do is be willing to shed the old, to bring in the new. And you, all you have to do is take action. You have all the resources. You have all the skills. You have all the knowledge. You, you can do whatever. I can see the power. You are a powerful individual. You may not believe it, but I'm here to tell you that you are. Anyhow, don't let fear get in the way of happiness. It may take strength and courage and confidence. Anyhow, I, I feel like... And maybe it's give your relationship with yourself a chance. Because this is give your relationship a chance. And this is a card of self. And that's what I said at the beginning about self. You know, maybe you give your relationship with yourself a chance. So anyway, for some of you, this is job related. Maybe it's about starting your own business, doing your own thing. Anyhow, I do see a new beginning here. This is very exciting. It does uh, include planting seeds someplace else, relocation perhaps, investing someplace else, you know, making a new investment knowing that you're going it's not going to be easy, knowing that you're going to have to put in a lot of work, okay? Um, but wherever you've been, there's been unfair treatment. You didn't get what you deserve. And it's time for you to leave it behind. So anyway, um, there's something below the surface that is waiting for you to find it. All you gotta do is open your eyes, follow your gut, follow your intuition. Your intuition is telling you that there is another opportunity. Listen. I think you have this vision that you have been ignoring because of the lack of clarity. You have a gift of some sort. Use it. So anyway, Libra, I feel as though you have a new beginning here that will lead to success should you make that hard decision to stop feeling guilty 
for doing what is right for you. You will be getting together with friends. Maybe it's new friends. This is the beginning of something new with the Fool card. It is. May have something to do with work. May have something. Maybe you're getting a new job. Maybe you're getting a new. Maybe you're going to a new school. Maybe you're starting your own business and you're going to meet new people. Whatever's happening, I do feel like you are about to balance out the scales for you. Things are going to come back into balance after they haven't been. They haven't been balanced. And I think you've been trying really, really hard to make something work where there's no growth. And it's caused you a lot of stress. It's caused you a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights and fear and illusion. There's illusion here as well with the moon card. Somebody's been in, in an illusionary state of mind in fantasy land. But I do believe there is some sort of awakening coming or an epiphany, you know, because I feel like there is... There's a divine connection to source, and there's a, it feels like, you know, that's a golden opportunity. They're giving you a golden opportunity right now to start fresh. Leave the stressful situation behind. Leave the guilt behind. Whoever, whoever you're dealing with, they are the ones that are guilty. They're guilty. It takes two. It takes two for a partnership to work, not one. For some of you, there's, there's a new opportunity in love here, okay? You may not see it. It's below the surface. It's right below the surface. This person is very attractive, very skilled, hard worker, works, does something professional, may have their own business. This person may want you to relocate with them. Either way, I feel as though this month you're going to be making a decision and it's a decision that will keep your life in balance. It's not going to be an easy decision because I see your guilt. And I don't mean you're guilty of doing something against the law. You're guilty for, you feel guilty for leaving them. Anyhow, Libra, I do feel like you're going to be putting in a lot of effort this month to rebalance the scales in your life. Good luck.